love you too, Glamma Girls! Hi everyone, Glamma here. Welcome back to Glam It Up with Glamma. So today we are going to be playing with the Vault Collection again by Morphe and Jacqueline Hill. And we are going to be playing with Ring the Alarm. But I do have to say something that in the middle of doing my eyes, um, part of the footage got lost. I thought it was recording and I it either wasn't recording or I just lost the footage. I don't know. But um, I explain what I ended up doing, but I didn't get me doing my lower lash line and my wing eyeliner. But I kind of explain all that in the video. So this is the look that I came up with for Ring the Alarm. So if you want to hang out with me and see how I got this look, then you know what to do. Just sit tight and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so first we are going to do some swatching. I am going to start with the first row in order that they are in and then the bottom row. So let's go ahead and get started with Lolly. So there's Lolly. There's Rush. And now on camera. And now boom. Wow, that's pretty. Now let's go in with alert. Ooh, alert and boom look like they go really well together, don't they? Wow. Okay, so there's the top row. Okay, let's go in with bomb. Oh, I hate saying this word. It's bomb. I'm just gonna call it bomb. Okay, there's bomb. Here's siren. Pretty. And now let's go with mugshot. And now framed. Oh, I like that. And lastly, we're going to go in with secret. There they are. Top row, bottom row. Very pretty. So in this video, I used everything except for Mugshot and Boom. Yeah, here's Boom. And here's Mugshot. So I used everything but those two colors. Once again, I used eight colors in this palette, just like I did for Armed and Gorgeous. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, so first I am going to go in with the color Rush in the transition area. I'm just kind of packing it on slowly. I'm going a little deeper, little by little. I don't want to put too much on too quick. But I'm concentrating it mostly on the outer corner and then dragging it in with circular motions and with windshield wiper motion. And once most of the product is off, then I start bringing it a little higher up with circular motions. Okay, so now that most of the product is off my brush, I'm going to blend even more. Okay, I'm going to go do the same thing to the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got both eyes done with Rush, I am going to go ahead and use the color... Hmm, I think I'm going to dab into Alert and put that in the transition area, but a little bit lower. And I'm using this um, angled fluffy brush right here. I'm bringing it kind of low, but that doesn't matter because I'm gonna cover that up anyway with a cut crease probably. I'm kind of digging into the socket a little bit just to get it in there a little better. 
And now I'm going to take the first fluffy brush and I'm going to go back in to um, the color Rush very lightly and just kind of blend in the second color. So you'll notice that my eyelash extensions are very sparse right now and that's because I'm letting them, I'm just kind of letting them fall out naturally and I'm going to give my eyelashes a break so I probably won't get eyelash extensions again for a while. But that's why they're looking a little funny right now. <laughs> Alright, so this is getting blended very nicely. Now that I have almost no product on that first brush, I'm going to continue to blend. Okay, now I'm going to go do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the color Siren and I'm going to put it in the transition area as well in the crease line, but a little bit lower and with a more dense brush. This one is by e.l.f. I'm going to really try to like pack it into the socket here and a little bit above because when I do the cut crease I don't want to lose this color. Okay, I'm going to take this angled fluffy brush that has the color um, alert on it and I'm going to blend that in just a little bit kind of flicking it upwards. Because I don't want to lose the second color alert. Okay, and I'm going to go back in with this little brush and I'm going to pack a little bit more of Siren in here. All right, guys, I'm going to go do that to the other eye. Okay, so now that I've got that on both eyes, I'm going to go in with a flat brush and do a bit of a cut crease right here. I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and create a cut crease. Okay, so I've got a soft cut crease right there, and I'm not really worried about the fact that I haven't blended this in because I'm, we're going to keep packing on color there. Okay, so the next color we are going to use is Framed. Let's see what this looks like. Very pretty. I'm going to wet the brush to see if I can get a little bit more pigmentation. Oh, there we go. Nice.
Okay, so that's what this is looking like. And now I kind of lost a little bit of siren. So I'm going to go in with this brush right here and just kind of go around, around it right here. The color is very similar to um, framed. So that's why it kind of looks like I lost it. I'm going to go back in with alert. And I just kind of do this back and forth until I get the desired look that I want. Because you don't want to lose any of your colors. Okay, so now that I put a little bit of that in, I'm going to go in with Rush and blend that in even better. Okay, so there's that. And let me see. Mm. I don't think I want it to, I think I'm going to blend it out a little bit more on the outer corner. I'm going to leave it a little sharper on the inner corner and blow it out a little bit more on the outer corner. And I'm doing that by using the color alert. Yeah, see how they're starting to blend in nice and seamless. And the color Siren is kind of helping that to do it because it's in between the color Alert and Framed. Okay, so that's nice. Um, now I think I'm going to use the color Secret, which is this brownish color, and I'm going to use the small packing brush right here to pack it in the corners. Just in the outer V. Okay, and now that most of the product is gone, I'm gonna sweep it in lightly. Okay, and now I'm going to go back in with the angled fluffy brush and I'm going to take Alert again and blend that out a little. Now I'm going to take my first fluffy brush and it has no product on it, I'm just going to blend that. Okay, so I think that's good enough. We're looking good there, and I'm going to go do that to the other eye now. Well, one thing I can really say is that I have not wiped my under eyes at all, and I barely, barely have any fallout whatsoever, so this is fantastic. And as you can see, I've used a lot of product. So there's only a couple little flecks, and that is it. I'm impressed. Okay, so we still have to do all of the under <laughs> lash line. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this little brush that I had the um, concealer on. I already cleaned it off. And I'm going to take Lolly and put that on my inner corner on the top lid. Probably on the bottom lid too later. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. It's not showing up too much, so I might go with a different color. Okay, so I'm not sure if I like that, so I'm going to try something a little different. But of course, I'm going to go do the same thing to the other eye because I don't want them to look different at all. So I'm going to go do that really fast, even though I'm not that crazy about how it's looking. Okay, so I absolutely love the color. Um, I just want it to be more of a pop. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the color... I hate saying this. <laughs> balm. I hate saying that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go in with Balm and see if it gives me more of a reddish pinker color that I'm looking for. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay. So let's put that on the inner corner. Yeah, that's pretty. That gives you more of the ring the alarm of a reddish look. 
so pretty. I'm not sure how far I want to carry it in. Hmm. I think I'm going to go to like the middle of my eye. Okay, so I'm just going to keep packing this on until it looks the way I want it to look. And I'm not taking it all the way up because I want to keep some of the color framed in there. So I want it really pigmented on the inner corner and kind of um, diffuse it out towards the outer corner. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm going to kind of blend it out a little bit. I'm going to take the first brush that I used and just kind of with no product on it at all, I'm just going to kind of sweep it over to the outer corner. Okay, so I like that. I think I'm going to go do the exact same thing to the other eye. Okay, so I got it pretty close. Of course, our eyes aren't symmetrical, so it's hard to get it precisely the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so for the bottom lash line, I'm going to start working on that already. Um, I'm going to take this... Guys, I am so, so sorry. I saw that it was recording, but it must not have been recording. I've already done so much that wasn't on my card. It's When I finally looked up, it said card full. So I went and emptied it out. And the last thing that it recorded was when I was going to start getting ready to do my lower lash line. And oh my goodness, I've already done that. And my um, waterline and my eyeliner but let me explain to you what I did um, for my lower lash line oh my goodness I can't believe this <laughs> so for my lower lash line I first went in with framed really close to the lash line and then I went in with alert under that and then under that I went in with um, rush and then I took um, the first blending brush right here and I blended all that together and then what else did I do let me see um, oh and then I took balm and I put that in the inner water line there and then I put black on the outer water line and then I used on camera right here on the inner tear duct area as well as a little bit up here on the brow bone and then I used my Kat Von D um, Trooper Black Eyeliner and did a wing. And that's where I am right now. I am so sorry. I apologize. I kept looking up and it said that it was recording, but I guess it wasn't. I don't know what happened. Whew, so that really is not cool. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I have so far. And what was I going to do when I finally noticed that it wasn't recording. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a little bit of on camera, I'm gonna wet this angled brush right here and I'm gonna see what I can do. I want something a little bit more up here. So let me see if I can kinda go, I wanna kinda go a little bit above balm but underneath framed. Just kind of give it some more dimension. Put a little more pizzazz in here. How far do I want to take that? Okay, so I'm going to spray that with all nighter and see if it'll stay before I open my eye. I don't want it to start, um, I don't know, creeping into the other colors. I want it to set in right there where it's at. Okay, I'm going to go do that to the other eye now. Okay, so I think I've got it pretty even. Let me go ahead and do some setting spray. 
Okay, so I think I have it pretty even. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go do some mascara on my bottom lashes and then I'm gonna do some false lashes and then I will be right back and we'll use a nude lip, I think. Okay guys, so I've got my eyelashes on and this is the finished eye look. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and we'll do my lips. Okay, so I'm gonna use my lip liner Rimmel 050 in the color Tiramisu. All right, so let me see. I think I'm gonna use the same color that I used when I did Armed and Gorgeous. My new Maybelline 050 and it's in the color Baddest Beige. I really like this color and I love the shine. So pretty. Um, is that all I want to do? I think that's enough, right? <laughs> Since I have such a bold eye look. Should I put a little glitter in the center? Why not? Let's do it. Let's put a little bit of lolly in the center of my lips. It doesn't show too much. Let's try a little bit of on camera too. That shows up a little bit more. There, I think we are done. All right guys, so there's the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and we can say goodbye. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating this look, but I do apologize for losing some of that footage. I don't know what happened, but hey, I really had fun playing with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. It was so much fun to create this look. What do you guys think of it? <laughs> do you guys have this palette or which palette did you order or did you order all of them like I did? Let me know the look that you came up with or let me know if you're gonna to try to recreate this look. I would love for you to tag me in some pictures if you try to recreate this specific look. Alrighty guys, um, let me know down in the comments below which vault palette you would like me to do next. If I don't get any comments, then I'm probably going to do Bling Boss next and then Dark Magic. So yeah, I had so much fun. I am so glad that I got all these palettes. I am having so much fun playing with them. Oh my word, this is just way too much fun. <laughs> Alrighty guys, don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. XOXO, Mwah. besitos. Thank you for watching our Glamos channel.